What's up my brothers and sisters, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys who are new, I'm Andrew and welcome to Persistence in Prayer. And today guys, I really just have a word of encouragement for you guys. I'm not going to make this a super long video. I know I usually say that, but this time I'm going to try to keep this video really super short. But I do want to let you guys know that the Lord is aware of the situation that you are going through. Whether it is a trial or a tribulation, know that God is aware and that He sees what you're going through and that He sees you and that He loves and He cares for you and that there are going to be times in this life, guys, where our faith is going to be tested. There's going to be times where we're going to go through trial and we're going to go through tribulation. And the Lord allows these things because it really does strengthen our faith. It says in Romans that everything works together for those who love God and are called according to His purpose. One thing to remember, guys, is that in the midst of the storm, that Jesus is still on his throne and that he's in control and that know that at the Lord's voice at his command he can speak a million galaxies into existence and knowing that he is in control over everything and know that he's in control he's in he is aware of the situation that you are going through whether it's a trial or tribulation whether it is a testing of your faith know that he is with you and know that he will never leave you nor will he forsake you and that in the word of god it promises that in this world we will have trial and tribulations but it says to take heart john 16 33 says to take heart because he has overcome because jesus is an overcomer and thank the lord that we fight not from a place of defeat but we fight from a place of victory, right? Because the victory is Jesus's. He's already won the victory. And as children of God, we have the victory. So we fight from a place of victory and not defeat. So know that whatever you're going through, no matter whatever the enemy is throwing at you, know that you are an overcomer. Know who you are. Know that greater is he that is in you that is in the world, right? So I want to read something from the book of Psalms, something that I really just pray calms your heart this evening. And it's Psalms 23. One of like the most famous psalms, but this is really, really something that calms my heart. And I just ask that this would be a moment where you just let the Lord speak to your heart. Just let these words touch your heart. So it says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me besides the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. And guys, you know one thing that I found really interesting? The term fear not is in the Bible 365 times. Think about that. The term fear not or do not be afraid is in the Bible 365 times, according to this website that I read. And that means that God has put a fear not for each and every single day of the year. So he wants his children, us his children, to know that we have no need to fear. No matter what the situation is, we have no need to fear because he is in control. And that there's going to be a day where the Lord is going to crack open the sky and take us home. But let me continue on the psalm because I said I didn't want to make this a super long video. Um, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Do you know that you are God's prized possession and that he watches over you day and night? And it says in Psalm 91 11, for he will order his angels to protect you. So be encouraged. Don't let the enemy stir your joy. As children of God, we're supposed to be happy. We're supposed to be joyful because the joy of the Lord is our strength. And that remember that you can't fight these battles alone these battles are never meant for you to fight alone know that the lord will fight your battles he will fight your battles for you but if you have to have the faith you have to trust in him that he will see you through it like think of job for example he went through all this calamity he went through suffering he went through trial he went through tribulation but the lord was still with him the lord never left him and he will never leave you if you felt that the lord has left you he has not he will never leave you nor will he forsake you that is a lie of the enemy if you feel that the lord is not with you it is a lie he is with you and he loves you and you are his child you are precious to him and you matter to him you matter to him no matter what anybody says no matter what the devil tells you no matter what your friends say know that you matter and know to keep holding on to the faith keep holding on to the faith because there's going to be a day where jesus is going to come back for us so keep on running this race be encouraged be excited. There's going to be a day where you're going to be face to face with Jesus. And what a beautiful day that will be.
So be encouraged, guys. Be excited. Be happy. You know, we can rejoice even when suffering comes. And, you know, we can trust God when good things happen. And we can even trust Him when bad things happen. Be encouraged, guys. Trust in the Lord in all your ways. And He will be with you. So I love you guys. And that's all that I have. Also, if you have a prayer request, leave the... Um, it down below because I would love to get to it and I would love to pray for you guys and my camera's about to die too so I'm gonna see you guys later but be encouraged and know that the Lord is with you so be blessed guys be encouraged in Jesus mighty name